Okay, Three's Company Crossbred Gilts. Uh, this is our first pen of three. Uh, we've got five of these to offer. This would be lots 58, 59, and 60. All 15 litter gilts, uh, litter mates uh, to a, a bear there we ran to start with. Pedigree reads promotion, uh, and then uh, mothers are back on top. Promotions, the quite frankly boar uh, that uh, Trace bred that uh, we, we've had very good luck with. have been very popular here within the industry in terms of hogs accepted well and, and getting reused uh, by, by very many uh, and got Got that uh, got that good sow line that Trace had so much success with, and uh, uniformity, litter, feedability on these pigs looks to be tremendous. Back on top, some other uh, it'd be a white gilt. Kipton Edie showed last year at uh, Perry, uh, and uh, we uh, the boys showed a, a gold colored gilt that was also got a piece of a division. Uh, the mother of this was reserve division there at Perry, um, and then the next division, the gold gilt, got uh, I think fourth or fifth overall. And then Mark Gray's uh, family showed a gilt in Oklahoma, very very competitive uh, gilt. Uh, painted up one there that the Grady firm, uh, Grady family placed for us. Uh, Mark Scott uh, back and worked there uh, uh, and was very, very successful in that. So all litter mates, consistency of litter was awfully good. Um, uh, we like this mating. Um, we like these uh, gilts uh, quite a bit. Uh, I, we're going to start with, uh, uh, and these are uh, Michigan Farrow uh, over here at Austin. It's 25 minutes from the farm. Uh, be sure to check them out when you come look at both places. Uh, I encourage you to come over here for sure. Um, Going to start with 15-4. That's the black-headed gilt there. Uh, she's one that's awesome looking on the side. Uh, very, very high-headed. Uh, got the extras in terms of hair and stoutness. Uh, still green in her immaturity. I think a gilt that, uh, you know, in terms of a big ring kind, has that kind of presence to her. Uh, she's uh, she's going to be very attractive. Going to have that shape you like to see and still uh, uh, square off both ends of her skeleton. I think a feeder's dream in terms of uh, uh, what you want to do with her because she's a blank slate that's, that's uh, stout, heavy structured, and got a great kind of a look I think she can be uh, uh, developed into very very good kind of a big ring uh, uh, breeding type of female that that uh, that, that maintains a mobile uh, square kind of a look on the side the 58 guild is the dash five of the painted up guilt uh, this guilt here probably reminds me the most of the gray guilt uh, there in Oklahoma uh, that was very successful it'd be a, a litter mate to this one's uh, mother actually uh, she she's a guilt that's dual purpose uh, breeding market uh, breeding uh, a value afterwards I guess maybe is where the biggest value is going to be in terms of resale or breeding um, uh, power on that one she looks like a bear generator but uh, to start with her she's very heavy Heavy structured. She's got as big a hind leg as you can put onto one. Uh, comes at you square, leaves you square, but still immature in her muscle pattern. She's not gaudy and bunchy by any means. Um, I think she's got the right amount of muscle. Uh, she's high headed. She's uh, great in her proportions in terms of length to side and frame size. Uh, that she's going to make them easy feeding. And I think she's one that uh, uh, she gets into that uh, very competitive jackpot setting. Uh, she gets into uh, a, a very good kind of a big ring gill in terms of August. Uh, uh, market or breeding, whatever you want to do. Uh, she's a guilt. Maybe you could stretch a little bit longer if you, if you want to. Um, you know, maybe be cautious on uh, showing her in Oklahoma and Tulsa uh, with Austin getting the call to judge. We uh, probably recommend you not show her there. Uh, but if she could be a guilt that maybe could get a little bit farther into that setting in terms of uh, uh, that September, maybe a little bit longer. But a very, very high quality guilt uh, that we like quite a bit uh, in terms of combining a stoutness and power in a very immature kind of a package. The uh, Lot uh, 60 guild is going to be 15-6. 15-6 uh, is a guild. Uh, I love the, uh, the the bone and structure that she's got. She's probably got as much true muscle shape as anything. And as I've said earlier, she's dual purpose, breeding her market um, uh, because she's got the extra shape of a market hog, uh, but she's got enough presence and look of a breeding guild. Uh, another one, very heavy structured like her sisters um, and, and offers, uh, offers power coming and going um, and still of a heavy bone kind of a pack. Package and all these gilts have extra hair uh, and density and power like all the promotions do. Uh, this gilt here maybe offers a little more maturity for this uh, particular pin, and that's not a bad thing. She's not Bowie. Uh, she's not too much by any means, but she's going to be ready just a shot earlier comparative to her sisters. But mobility, uh, squareness off both ends is awfully good. This is a really good pin of gilts. A little bit different in their, their type and kinds in terms of maturity and feedability, uh, but I like this pedigree a great deal.